Uh, so, for backstory real quick, I have a childhood friend. Uh, we'll call him Jacob, since that's what his parents and friends did. Uh, I'd known him through the ages of like 5 to 10, but he moved away and we lost contact for maybe 10 or so years. When eventually I had saw that he sort of made his own original songs, and I wanted to sort of record them through my computer and produce them out as I would if they were my own tracks. Um, and so over the duration of a couple of years, uh, we'd meet with his friend Phil uh, every so few months and then record out some of the songs that he had wrote previously. And uh, so the first track of his that we've recorded was one he called Frizzy Head. Uh, and I thought it was an instant classic, even when he played it just like the acoustic version. I was like, yes, we're, we're recording that. Let's do that. She's got a frizzy head When she doesn't straighten her head had him record the important parts, got notes, and then worked on it on my own time, you know? Added some drums. Also then ended up having my brother, uh, who's a drummer, record like some real instruments, uh, with the drum uh, instrument being that. Okay, it was, I think it was like one or two days even, I already, already sent him back a draft. I was like, yo, yes. But yeah, I mean, it felt cool to record for somebody else's music um, since basically it was, it might have been like the first time ever in that setting, obviously, but like in my way, because I was, you know, I was so self-centered to usually, you know, work on my own music and always make things about me, you know, and it's as, as if I would go on like some side tangent right now about, you know, this very specific room that we created the songs, you know, she was the same room that I had core memories of way back then uh, with Jacob. And some of the stories that I remember from way back then, uh, one, I, we were in this room, maybe like six or seven or so, uh, jumping around at my closet at that point was like a storage room filled with boxes. I remember being like a on top of a bunch of them and somehow my fingers got caught in my door and it hurt really bad so then I yelled uh, for my mom uh, and I remember him uh, Jacob was just kind of there uh, during that but I remember uh, feeling a little bit embarrassed afterwards being like yeah sorry you had to kind of uh, witness that I mean I have a bunch of memories scattered throughout even his you know houses and different little um, you know, hangout sessions. And so basically, so basically what this whole monologue is leading up to is that I think that I'm about to release this song Frizzy Head that he, we've recorded oh so many moons ago and it feels like it's about time to maybe release it. But also a big part of the story currently um, on today, uh, which is uh, November 6th when I'm recording this, you know, now he's actually in the Air Force training. It, what he had has been for like a month um, without service or phone. Um, till basically, I think the end of this year, more so than ever, I just feel a little bit antsy or like it's time to release the tracks. And of course, I got his permission to, you know, even before I even thought about trying to make any sort of cover for it, I was like, uh, that it's okay if I do something like that. And he was like, go, yeah, go for it. And uh, he gave like full blessing. He was like, kind of like, whatever you want to do with them, like just, you know. So like that one was, I think, 2020, because the first time we hung out, I still had a beard. I remember that because I remember it being jarring when I shaved it and then they were like, what the heck? So when I had messaged asking about if I could release the song Recluse, um, he had said the going away party was in for like two or three days from when I messaged, um, which was cool. So then I was like, yeah, of course, dude, that'd be sweet. Thank you for, you know, all the formalities and such. Um, so I went, um, and it was a really cool time. The whole idea of it was like, you know, um, setting a fire and then um, smoking cigars because it was the last time he'd be able to do that for a little bit um, since he was going to military type, you know, official stuff. Um, to which, you know, I don't often smoke cigars, but I wanted to join in, so I did. It was usually if I do you know, nicotine, I'll do the cigarillos and dump the tobacco guts, but then fill it with something else. Um, like a true bad boy, you know, to be blunt about it, you know. Real funny pun. Okay, let's go ahead and... Because also I found some other tracks that he had in this folder of band stuff like ones that i heard for the first time that i was like dang i forgot he might have mentioned here or there so i tried to make a couple more and also i remember a time at his house uh, when we were playing hide and seek and um oh yeah i had a song where i actually talked about this story uh basically his uh like sister jumped out from the shower curtain and then i peed my pants and it was really embarrassing for me one time way back in second grade i was at my friend's crib playing hide and seek his sister jumped out All my memories that include him aren't embarrassing, but I don't know why there's some, because I remember some, I remember his dogs and like walking around the neighborhood and stuff like that. So like a lot of just like core type stuff uh, from when I was younger. Um. 
because he said something at one point that I hadn't remembered that apparently when we were in elementary school we wrote a story that was uh, the teachers were concerned about it, it was a something like that it's like basically Why do these days always feel like shit? Why do these days always seem to come back? Why do these days always feel like shit? And I don't want this. I 